Brandon, gaming channel. Uh, have you ever played Stanley Parable before? Uh, no. Please enter the current time. The heck if I know it's 117. Not AM. Oh, man. Begin the game. Ever the end is never. The end is never. The end is never. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Dedicated. And although I like it. I like it. Stanley, Stanley was happy. Was happy. That's all that matters, man. The end. And he and lived one day, a lot on life. Peculiar happened. Oh, okay. Something. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Not pressing buttons? That not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh my god. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Day off? Okay. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he, moved. he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Uh. Oh, sorry, the me. Gotcha. And then what? And then what? Hey! And then he went into this room. It's locked. And then he went into this room. It was locked. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah. What could it mean? No idea. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, meeting room, which is right around here. Right down this hallway in this room. Meeting room right here. He found out the meeting room was locked. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, oh, I did it. he entered the door on his left. You are the worst person. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, ha! just to admire it. This game plays a you, man. I like it. You got me there. Here we are. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Stanley simply stood here. Drinking it all in. Drinking it all in. Oh, man. Oh, it doesn't get better than this, man. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. Correct. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like this game a lot. You're real sassy. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. It was pretty great. The first open door on his left to get back to business. Got it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going down. Tell me again about Stanley. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, <laughs> he Stanley died from the platform and plunged to his death. Good End of job, game. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Ah! Hey! Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> okay. This is a game we should play live. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Prove it! At all. this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I just want to see the end of the hallway. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. See? I just wanted to see what it was. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Yeah. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated oh, to accept you. it blindly? Yes. Step no. on the platform. He refused to I believe mean, it. No. He and when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place yep. and to everything it stood for. So... On... E Let's do this. We won the game. The end. I'm pretty certain I did the right thing. Was it over? Yes. Yes. He had won. He we had did defeated it. the machine. Easy, pretty easy actually. Him. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. That's just the, the fans. Of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path yep. before him. Feels good. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. That is certainty. And Stanley was happy. That's cute. Thank you. Now I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Happiness, not on the radar. Don't die. 
Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. No, the wrong foot sure was last time when I fell. No. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking it's for me. It's about me. I'm asking for her. I don't care about this her. This is it, Stanley. Do you want me to walk through this door? Is this what you want from me? Ah! That's her, Stanley. I don't want to talk to her. Stanley, uh -huh. just unplug the phone. <laughs> I think I did. No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? Uh-oh. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. What? Oh. So you completely ignored even the most the basic, basic safety, safety protocol, protocol for, for the world, world, world decision making. making. Or did you not grasp Play this the phone way, back please? In. Oh. Pick up the phone. Is there another option? Because so far I think you're mad at me and I don't want to follow you if you're mad at me. I'm going to go here. You lied to me. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again and you'll be home free in the real world. I don't like that. Feels like you're forcing me, man. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Got it. No! Why did you do that? What is this? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Got this. Just kidding. What do you think about that, Mr. Narrator? That's two times. You don't care. Okay. Oh, it's ruined. You Oops. I can't believe after everything we talked not, about. I didn't my come story. You just, you've destroyed my work. I was just what? trying to have. For mm, what? You let what me did talk. You get out of that. Fine. You, I have to shut the game down. No, I I'm sorry. To. The game's I good. Have to. You don't. Over actor. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But I'm not Stanley. I'm sorry. I'm weak. No. Why did you do that? I don't know. Dang it. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his, his right. Left. Okay, I'm assuming if I go in the right door, he's going to be mad, turn it off, do this again. But I'm willing to take that risk yet again. No! I forgot. I thought it was Quickly. left is right. I... Take it! But Open it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Huh. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. My microphone doesn't he work. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Hey, Night Shark 115, 112. Night Shark, night time. Sleeping, sleepy shark, baby shark. Do, 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 baby. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. You don't understand. My microphone is set up through an external and not into the game I'm at sorry, all. is it uh, a problem? Yes! You didn't <sighs> mishear me, did you? Hold on. Please speak the code into the receiver. I'm Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Figuring it out. Sorry, Night Shark 115. Night Shark! Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Night Shark. See what I had to show you. Then why did you come here? You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. I tried. Oh, this is weird. Yes. Hello? Hi. Hey. Sorry. Is everything okay? Yes. Oh! Please. I, I need you to make a choice. The I need end. you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? That's it. Love you. Hope you have the best day ever. Because some people want to make your own choices. Okay. 